Hello, happy Tuesday, welcome. Welcome to my, my Facebook Live. Let me just pull you guys up over here on the video here. Let's see. How are you guys doing today? Make sure I'm in the right group. I am. I have a super cute card for you guys tonight. Let me just share my video over here. Maybe. I don't see me. Hi, Donna. Welcome. Hi, Don. Welcome, you guys. I was getting a little lonely here. I didn't know if anybody was going to join me tonight. Just Sharon over here. There we I am. I couldn't find me. Let's see. I know Diane's not going to be able to join us tonight because her power's still out from early this morning. So hopefully she can catch us on the replay. All right, yeah, the weather today was stinky. All right, so let me pull you guys up over here so I can see what you guys are saying. Let's see. So we probably got like six inches of snow here, um, but it's mostly all gone now. Um, well, not mostly, I mean, we still have some out there. Yuck, I know, Donna, just terrible. Um, I just want spring to be sprung and no more. Hi, Amy, welcome. Um, but it's supposed to be on a positive note this weekend. It's supposed to be in the mid-60s, and Monday they're saying it's going to be in the 70s. So <laughs> go from a nor'easter on Monday to 65s on the weekend, but that's just how New York rolls, right? So um, I have a cute card tonight with one of my favorite sets that is retiring. Have you guys been looking at all this stuff that's on sale and on clearance um, in the Last Chance products? There's so many awesome things that are going away, which is always sad to see them go. But there's a lot of new things coming down the road. So, But they're going fast. I've had a couple of people reach out to me and they're like, oh, I want this. I can't find it. I see it in the catalog, but I can't. It's gone. I mean, if you want something, you got to get on that and you've got to get it because they're going crazy. So um, get in there, get your shopping. Um, my host code, you guys are all familiar with my host code. Whenever you make any kind of order with me online, any size order and use my current host code, I will send you a gift in the mail. Um, whatever I choose. Sometimes I'll let you know. Sometimes it'll just be whatever I choose. And you guys, like I said, you use my host code every time with every order and you'll get a gift from me in the mail. Um, the other good news we just received today is there is free shipping tomorrow on orders of $75 or more before tax. So hi, Tina, welcome. Um, so if you guys were thinking of getting some of the Last Chance products, tomorrow is free shipping. Um, so I wish I would have known that yesterday because I put an order in, but oh well, <laughs> I might have to put in another order. Um, so it's free shipping all day tomorrow, one day only, $75 or more pre-tax. So get your orders in, get your stuff going. Oh, the 21st. Oh, it's the 21st. I'm sorry. Yes. Thank you, Donna. Oh my goodness. It is not tomorrow. Thank you, Donna. Good thing somebody on my team is paying attention. Um, I'm a great team leader. Um, it is the 21st. I thought today was the 20th. And it is not. It's the 19th. So get your orders in for free shipping on Wednesday the 21st. All day, $75 or more. Pre-tax. Thank you so much, Donna. Um, so that just dropped today. I was very excited. I was like, I'm getting my order in tomorrow. I'm glad I didn't uh, get my order all ready for tomorrow. Um, 
I get very excited when they offer free shipping. They offer free shipping most most times or Stampin' Up usually offers it once a year. Tomorrow is Wednesday. Oh my gosh, I'm so messed up, you guys. Thursday. Thursday. Is <laughs> I'm done. I'm done. I'm quitting. I'm not even going to do the card tonight. If this is how it's starting out, I'm just done. Um, the 21st, which is Thursday, because tomorrow is Wednesday, is free shipping. So if you guys can just stop listening to anything I said prior to all this, um, yes, yeah, still, I'm still on spring break and the kids had a snow day today. So it just threw everything way off of whack. Free shipping. Let's do this again. What did I do my whole hour live on? Free shipping and the date and the day. I cannot get it right. Um, April 21st on a Thursday, which is two days from now. Get your orders in. You'll get free shipping, $75 or more pre-tax. So fun. I'm getting away from that now. Um, the new catalog, I got my box of new catalog, so I'm getting packets together for anybody who has placed an order with me in the last six months. You'll get your catalog in the mail with a nice little package from me. Um, if you would like a free catalog, just message me and I'll get one out to you. So there's some pretty awesome stuff in there. And I'm going to give you guys a sneak peek of the in colors tonight with my card. So the... Stamp set I'm working with tonight, again, like I said, is one of my favorites. It was in the annual catalog. Um, it's called Hey Birthday Chick, and there are dies with it. It is regularly, before it was on sale, it was $48 for the dies and the um, stamp set. So the stamp set is $21, was $21, and the dies were $27. So... <laughs> Don, that's not helpful. Don't do that. <laughs> um, so the right now, they are more than half off. The Hey Birthday Chick stamp set is $16.80, and the Birthday Chick dies are $13.50 for a grand total of $20.30. That is more than half off. So the, this set is one of my favorites. And let me um, put you guys down so I can show you the card because it's super cute. Well, I think it's super cute. Let's flip you upside down and spin you around. Let's see. Let me make sure you guys can see that good. There's my host code right there. So that's the little code you want to use whenever you place an order with me. Um, here's the card. So isn't that cute? I just love it. So I'm changing a few of the things up tonight on this card. Um, not much, but that's the card. And then on the inside, look at that. So sneak peek, a couple of in colors there, new in colors. But isn't that super cute? So I love this set. Um, I use it a lot. I think I've only done one or two um, cards with this set, but I do love that. So let's see here. Yeah, the, it's super fun. So I did these chickens um, more traditional colors. I mean, kind of. Um, so I'm going to show you guys. Let me bring in the, the stamp set here. So this is the stamp set. You have happy birthday. You're still a spring chicken. Best of clucked. I love that one. Let's celebrate you. And then you got these awesome little chicks here that you can color. I'm a big chicken fan. I love chickens. So this set is right up my alley. So here's all the dies that you get. Um, let me show you guys. So here we're going to be using some of these dies, but here's some that we're not using. So here there's this little, I think it's chickens scratching on the ground. It looks like chickens that have walked in their little feet. So it doesn't cut anything out. It just makes the um, impression in your paper cardstock. So that's what that little die does. Then, of course, you've got your little grain of feed there, your little bag of feed. Because chickens really, you know, they need to eat. 
So there's their little bag of feed. So super cute. And then I'm not using the little chick in the card that I'm going to do tonight. But this little chick cuts out like this. On this card, the little chicks here have black eyes. I just stuck a piece of um, basic black behind here because they look funny without any eyes on them. And then this wing, actually, you can pop this wing up, maybe. There we go. So you can kind of fold it up and give it like a little 3D effect. And then there's a little tiny bow tie in there. That's so cute. You guys can see that little bow tie. So those are the three dies that I'm not using. And I'm using all the rest of these dies. Well, yeah. Four dies that I'm not using. And the rest I'm using tonight. So I'll show you them. Um, these chickens are fun to color too. And I'll show you guys. So, well, actually, I need that left out so we can do our... Yeah, it is kind of creepy looking without the eye. So, it's just kind of not cool. So, I had to put an eye in there. Oh, that's a great idea. Amy said the little food bag could double as a pillow. That is super cute. It can double as a pillow. That's awesome. Yeah. So, that's cute. See, I love that. I love when you guys think outside the box and you find other uses for your stamps or your dies. So let's um, pull out, we'll do our stamping first. So I have two pieces of basic white I'm doing all my stamping on. You could give them googly eyes. That would be so cute, wouldn't it? Oh, that would be cute. I think I have, well, I know I have googly eyes. I mean, I have kids and... My youngest always is asking me for different uh, crafting stuff because he's always in his room creating something. So I always have googly eyes and the pipe cleaners, you know, all that fun stuff. So I'm going to stamp this guy first. He's quite big, or she. So I'm going to use not the largest block, but the second to largest block. And I'm going to take my uh, Memento because we're doing coloring with the Stampin' Blends. So I'm going to use my memento and because it's a bigger chicken or a bigger stamp, I take the ink pad to the stamp. It works out better that way. So I'm going to stamp this guy. Let me make sure you guys can see me stamping him. Stamp this guy right here. So cute. And then I'm going to take my simple chamois that I cut in half, and I'm just going to wipe these down. Oh, what am I doing? Before I put this away, you guys see these little balloons here? What I did was I took this chicken, and I'm just stamping the balloon. I don't care about the rest of the chicken. Let me get a piece of scrap paper underneath here. So what I'll do is I will take this and I'll stamp the balloons. I'll stamp two of them right there. And another one right there. And then we can cut those out with the die. So this would be great for, you know, if you needed a balloon in another project, just pull out this die. And then you can, you'll have your balloon, just snip it off where the little chicken butt is right there. Chicken butt. Can you use the, the Stampin' Up! ink with the blend markers? It can bleed, um, so you can use it. It's just they can bleed. I'm sure, though, if you're using the same colors, you know, that's something I need to try. Dawn asked if you can use the Stampin' Up! Um, inks with the blend marker. So instead of stamping it, you know, with the black, stamp it in a different color, which with all this stuff in here, 
if you're using the same color, it shouldn't be an issue. I'm going to have to play around and try that, Dawn. That's that's um, something to look at. I know it's going to bleed, and it depends on your stamp, I guess, and what colors you want to use. Um, so I got this. What other one am I going to stamp here? Do I want this one? No, I think this guy here. So we'll stamp this guy or girl. You know what? I already have these stamped out. Let me stamp this chicken out in a color and we'll try an experiment tonight. How does that sound? Let's see, what color should I stamp it out in? Um, let's stamp it out in, where's my browns here? I'm asking you guys like you know where the browns are in my collection. I'll stamp it out in crumb cake. Do we have crumb cake stamping blends? I think we do, don't we? Yes, we do, and I do have them. So let's stamp out this chicken, and we'll do some coloring. We'll see how it works. And then we need to stamp out, let me just wipe this guy down. This drives my dogs nuts when I do this. They're not in my room with me, but when I, the little squeaking, they think it's a toy and they look all the time. They're like looking all over the place for it. Like, where is it, mama? Where is it? So we're gonna need this crazy little chicken stamped down. So we'll stamp this guy down here. I think this one is my favorite chicken out of all the chickens. It's just, just so cute. It reminds me of Hey Hey. Have you guys seen Moana? I love that movie. Your favorite too, Donna, isn't it funny? I love that. Crazy Chicken is her favorite too. If you haven't seen, is that in Moana? Yeah. If you haven't seen Moana, you have to watch Moana. It's such a great movie. So now we need this little chick. And then that's all the, the stamping we're going to need to do for, um, for our die cutting. Because these guys, you're going to have to die cut all these out. It is really a cute set, Don. Then if you Google this set, you'll find all kinds of cute cards um, that people have made and created. I Googled, I, this isn't somebody's copy, but it gave me a basis, an idea um, of this card. It's not, theirs was way different, but it gave me this idea. That's why I love to Google stuff, because it just kind of gets you going. So here's this chick here. So let's color it with the um, Stampin' Blend. This is going to be light crumb cake. So let's see. I can't believe I've never done this. I don't know why I've only just stamped it black. So I think it's going to be fine if you're coloring it in with the crumb cake. I'm going to do something crazy and color the rest of its body with a different color. Let's see. Let's try some light gray granite. I got gray granite here. So let's try coloring, seeing if that bleeds the... No, it actually is stamping out and coloring pretty good. Thanks, Dawn, for bringing that up so we could experiment. I don't like the colors that I chose. Let me 
me try the red and see how that looks. Color is a little comb red. Is this red? Dark real red. Yeah, I guess it works pretty good, doesn't it? Look at that. I like it. So that's, and you can see it is bleeding a little bit. Um, I don't know if you can see it. Where the red, the red and the brown there is bleeding a little bit, but it's not terrible at all. That's kind of neat. So there's another way to, and then it, you can see it's bleeding a little bit there. So you do get the bleeding when you use the colors, and in there you can see it's bleeding. But, you know, if you do the same colors, it actually looks pretty cool, I think. So... Let's see here. What are you guys saying over here? Right, you don't you don't know until you try, and that's awesome. So, oh, she makes me <laughs> sorry, guys. I'm sorry I make you guys want to all this stuff all the time. Maybe I shouldn't create some goofy stuff. No, it's fun. It's fun using the products and doing the different things. So. These guys you would cut out. So this here, when you cut these, die cut these out. Get this here. You're going to just take your balloon and just line up your balloon and just cut them out that way. And then you'll get your little balloon. So I've gone ahead and I've actually cut everything out and colored everything just to save time. So let me bring in the rest of the stuff. So there's the chick. This is a new color, and I forgot to Google how to say it. <laughs> Let me see if I can. Tahitian Tide. So I'm going to pull in all the markers and show you guys what they look like. But that's a new color, Tahitian Tide. It's super pretty. It's such a nice, bright, light blue. And then I have Polish Pink, and I have Highland Heather. So you're going to need some fence cut out. So I have three of these little fences. Aren't they cute? So I'm thinking Halloween time. These would be awesome for like Halloween cards. So if you get this set, you'll be ready for Halloween. There's your little fence post. And then there is in here, there's this little, cuts out the little like streamers. Oh my gosh, I'm in love with this little piece here. And I've used this streamer on other cards not using the chick chick cards. So I cut these all out. I cut two each of the Tahitian Tide, the Highland Heather, and then the Polished Pink. Now, of course, you're not going to have Tahitian Tide unless you're a demo. Um, so you can use any blue, but I wanted to show you guys some of the new colors in colors. I So these chickens I didn't color traditional. I colored them all crazy-like. So, let me just pull these pieces out. Aren't they cute? They are, aren't they? The colors are. They're so much prettier with, um, oh, I did do, yeah, I thought I did a class with this. That's right. Donna said I did a, a class um, with this and you ordered it. Awesome. But yeah, everything is so much prettier in your hands than it is online. So let's go ahead and I'm gonna set the card base aside first. We're gonna build up our card here. So I have a piece of, um, this is the, what is this one? Heart and Home DSP. So all of the DSP that's currently in stock right now will be disappearing as of May 3rd, May 2nd. When is our new catalog date ordering? Let's see, I think it's May, May 3rd, you guys can start to order. Yes, May 3rd. So May 2nd, all of the different um, DSP will be leaving us. I'm not sure if they're going to transfer it over to the clearance rack or it's just gonna disappear. Most of the times it just disappears. And sometimes it comes back as a clearance item, but sometimes you never see it again. So I like this piece because it reminded me of a chicken coop. It reminded me of the um, 
just the bricks and stuff of what a chicken coop, you know, the wall of a chicken coop would look like. That's the back side of it. So I cut this piece. This is five and a quarter by four. And then I took a piece of Bloom Where You're Planted DSP. Is that right? Bloom Where You're Planted? No. I've got them mixed up, you guys. This is the Bloom Where You're Planted DSP. Jeez, I'm having a night. Um, this is the Bloom Where You're Planted DSP. And this is the Heart and Home. So the Bloom Where You're Planted DSP is cut five and a quarter by four. And this piece, Bloom Where or Heart and Home, is cut five and a quarter by one and a half and I thought that was nice for the chickens to be like outside where the flowers are and they can you know pick and do what they need to do so we're gonna glue that down first so I'm gonna use what do I want to use my stamp and seal I think we'll just do the stamp and seal here And then this is gonna layer right down here at the bottom. So you're gonna leave no, none of the bloom where you're planted DSP showing at the bottom. So it's just all the flowers. So it looks like that. And then this is where you're gonna bring these guys in. And I'm gonna use the liquid glue cause it's just easy. I thought it looked good together. They don't really clash too much. So I do see that. There we go. All right. So now I'm just going to take and whoa, that is a lot of glue, you guys. Let me take some of that glue off. That's going to. I love our take a pick tool because I use it for everything. some of this glue off of there and then I just take in my um, side here I have a baby wipe and I just use the baby wipe to clean that up so you're just gonna take some of the liquid glue and I'm just going down the little fence post here you could do the middle you don't have to and then I like my little tweezers Oh, that's a great idea, a small paintbrush. Dawn uses a small paintbrush when she gets too much glue. That's a perfect idea. So this is gonna go right above this DSP, the um, Honey Heart and Home, I'm sorry, Heart and Home DSP. It's gonna sit right on top of that. And then I'm gonna take another. So you're gonna need three of these fences, but you're only gonna use like three and a quarter or so. I'm not even squeezing this. This is a new glue. So it's just kind of coming out just nicely. And then this will line up right on there. And the nice thing about the liquid glue is you have time to move it Yeah, Amy, I agree. I use my fingers a lot, too. And then I'm like, oh, great. Now my fingers are all sticky. What do I do? So I don't know why I put glue on all of these because we're not going to use all of these. I should have only put glue on like three of them. But I wasn't thinking. I was talking while I was thinking. So just glue like two and a half of these. Then you're going to take your paper snips. Now, I have a pair that I use for um, with my glue stuff. So I have a pair that's, I don't know where they are. Where did I put them? Let's see. I had a glue that I, or a pair that I, oh, here they are. Okay, got them. All right, so I have a pair that I use just for the um, stuff that when I use the glue. You know, when you have the sticky stuff, the glue, the tape, the adhesive, whatever's whatever and I just take that pair and I'll use it to snip because otherwise you'll get glue I have a couple of pairs of paper snips so otherwise you'll get glue on all of your paper snips so I keep one just for cutting stuff without glue on it 
So there's your little fence. And isn't that cute, too? You could do, without the chickens, you could do flowers back there or whatever. But I like the chickens. So now I'm going to take my little birthday banners. These guys, um, so I'm going to take and just put like a little dap, dop, dabber, whatever, of glue on there. You don't need a lot. You really don't need a lot. And then I'm going to take and I'm going to kind of, let me make, let me get a scrap piece of paper there. This is probably a good idea to use your um, silicone mat behind here. I see other demos using it. Put your silicone mat back there. And then if you get glue on it, you can just peel it off afterwards. So I'll put this one kind of in this corner. Just give it a minute to tack down. There you go. And then I'll do, let's see, let's do the blue. See, a smart person, I guess, would use the silicone mat, put the glue, put it, your glue on there and then if you get any on the mat it's no big deal you can just wipe it off or wait until it dries and peel it off so then I'll put this guy over here in this corner I'm just eyeballing it I'm not really measuring I'm just kind of looking and and it's gonna go off the edge which is fine because we can um, cut that then I'm gonna take the polished pink My goodness. Do the same thing. And this is what takes a lot of the time. So this is why I said I need to color most of that stuff off of camera. But there's a lot of detail in this. And I love the cards. I love just, you know, I love any card. But one with a lot of detail is just super fun to create. Then I'm just going to go in and I'm going to kind of put these like this blue. I'll put it at the opposite end here and I'll put it up here. So again, I put glue on all the pieces. I don't know why. If I thought, thought it out better. So now the pink will go over in the other corner. I'll just do a couple. Whoa. These little things are so much fun. These little streamers. And then we'll do the purple one. Highland Heather. I think I will put the glue on all parts of it. Just because I don't know where I'm going to put it. Maybe here, maybe up there. Yeah, that looks good. So now with your paper snips that you already have out with the glue on them, I'm going to flip this over and I'm just going to just trim, trim those little pieces. Maybe. And there you go. Isn't that cute? So you can see the birthday scene, how it's building. It does look cute, doesn't it? And like I said, if you don't have the chickens, which you should get the chickens because they're super cute, um, you could do lots with this. But you're going to need the dies if you want to do that so you at least need the dies so if you're going to buy the dies you might as well buy the stamp set that matches um now where are my balloons okay here's the chickens with the balloons so with these guys what i did was um i popped these chickens up so i'm going to put this guy here i'm going to put this one here and i'm going to put 
this little guy here and I'm going to put them up closer to the fence. Now this one, I think I like the colored chickens better. We'll compare the two cards after I'm done. So I'm just going to pop these up. So that's a good, I don't know if you guys do this, um, but you lay your cards out, you lay your design out before you actually glue everything down. Um, it helps out a lot. I'm always tinkering with it. I remember when I first started, I would just glue everything down. Then I was like, uh-oh, that doesn't look good. Now I'm a little smarter and I wait to glue it down. I love this little guy, so cute. You like the colored chickens? Yeah, I think I'm liking this one better. But we'll compare them. Now this guy, you know how I am with my Stampin' Up! Dimensionals. I cringe. I was watching somebody do a card, and they used like one dimensional on this big long piece. I'm like, oh my gosh! You need more dimensionals! Although some people would say I need a dimensional, Stampin' Up! Dimensional intervention because I use too many of them. You're partial to the colored chickens, Amy. So there's that. And then you have these two balloons. So what I'm going to do is put some glue on the um, strings parts. The liquid glue and a little bit at the base I'm not going to glue the whole balloon a little bit at the base and then I'm going to give the pink chicken the pink balloon whoa so I'm just going to tuck this behind this chicken and then hold that down and then I'm going to tuck this one behind the little chicky. And then what I did was, on this one you guys can see, I just did the happy birthday. There's a die in here that cuts out happy birthday right here. And um, what I did was I just cut it out once. But then I said, I want it to have a shadow. So I cut two of them out, one in polished pink and one in the black. And um, what I'm going to do is put glue on the pink one there and then just kind of slide it. So you can see that the black is just like gives it a little shadow effect. So let me do that. Just little dots of glue. Um, I'm not sure if Stampin' Up! still has it, but they had a, and I'm, I think that they do, I could be wrong, they have a real tiny fine tip glue, um, glue thing, fine tip I think it was. I don't know if they still have it. Craft stores and stuff have it, but let me tell you, I've gotten that and I don't like it at all. I cannot use it. It never seems, the glue never seems to come out. The craft store ones, the Stampin' Up! ones, it's more of a pain in the butt. I like the liquid glue. I, you just, you have more control, I think, with the liquid glue. And the um, one that I got, the fine tipped one or whatever, it seems to dry up the tip and I can never, well, that's upside down. I could never get it started again, so... We're going to take this, we're going to put this on top, and then you're just going to slide it over a little bit. Isn't that cute? And then it just gives it that little shadow effect. The fine tip glue, that's what it is. It's a fine tip glue, and um, I don't even know if I have one, but, and I, you know, I love all their products and stuff. But I'm going to be honest with you guys, when I use stuff, if it doesn't, you know, if I feel it doesn't do what it's supposed to do, I'll let you guys know. I know there are some people who love it. I just, I've never had any luck with it. 
So there's that. Now I'm going to take this. This is my favorite, the liquid glue. And the, of course the stamp and seal. So I'm just going to add some liquid glue to this guy. And I may be using that um, fine tip glue pen wrong. So it could be a me issue, but I have never had any luck on it and I just don't use it. So this I thought, not upside down, we would put right here instead of black in the balloon, which I like that better than black in those little balloons. So now let's put this guy together. Yeah, I love the liquid glue too. Let's see. So, so Amy has it and she uses it a lot and she loves it, she said. And that's probably where, where I'm messing up. That you have to put it in the put in the needle top very carefully. So that's probably why I'm having difficulties with it because I can't figure out how to put the lid on. That's probably my issue. <laughs> And it's funny because some people hate the liquid glue. You know, I guess it's more of a personal preference. And so you just want to try try stuff, you know. Um, you just want to do what works for you. Let's see, where is my stamp and seal? So I'm just going to use the stamp and seal on the back here. guys I like this one. Oh, I like this one it's funny how you can make the same card but add a little different different stuff to it and it comes out differently and then well let me do that last let's do the inside so there's a piece of basic white we're gonna go ahead and layer that on the inside it's five and a quarter by four Donna, you have a hard time getting the cap on with your old eyes. That could be a problem of mine, too. Amy's a young whippersnapper. We're old whippersnappers. Well, I should speak for myself. I'm an old whippersnapper. So this guy in the center, I put in here, you're still a spring chicken. I love that. It's so funny. So I'm going to stamp that with my memento. Before I stamp this down, I have pre cut out this guy. Remember, we cut him out. So I colored him in the new in colors. So I'm going to put him down here for a minute. And I promised you guys a sneak peek at the in colors, and I will show you them. And I'm going to put that right there. Although I think you guys have all seen it, except for Tina, which I don't know if she's still on here with us. So I'm going to use the liquid glue to, to um, put him down in the, in the inside. A lot of times they don't decorate the inside of my cards. I leave them blank. But I wanted to use all the chickens because they're so cute, especially the crazy chicken. I wanted to find a spot. Oh, Tina's still here. Oh, yay. Um, yeah, I wanted to find a spot for the crazy chicken. So there he is. So let me bring in, before we compare the cards, the different in colors here. So I think I used, yes, I did use all the in colors on this chicken. So there are some super pretty in colors coming. Um, this one here is called Sweet Sorbet. So you, of course you have the blends of all the different in colors. So I colored the top of the cupcake with that color. And then we have, this is the, oh, t I just said it you guys and now I can't pronounce it. Tahitian, Tahitian Tide? Tahitian Tide, thank you. Um, Tahitian Tide. This 
here is the color of the chicken. Such a pretty blue. I love this blue. Oh, and we got to do one other thing too. I got to remember that. This one is my absolute favorite because I love green. Tahitian. Thank you, Amy. Oh my gosh. I have such a hard time sometimes pronouncing stuff. Parakeet Party. So here's your dark and light. I colored the um, candle and then the bottom of the cupcake with that. Let's see. Where is the dark one? Okay, so this is the dark starry night, or the starry night it's called. So we have the dark and the light. So I was a little like, oh my gosh, they're so close. But they're actually really, it's really cool to have them color so close. Because I colored the tail feathers, um, one with the starry night, and the other one with our last new in color, which is um, Orchid Oasis. And so I used um, that on the... The tail feathers and the crazy hair so they're super pretty they're really pretty like I seen pictures of them and you could see them like when I got my catalog but until I got them and actually played with them oh my gosh they're super super pretty so yeah I know that Tina said she loves how vibrant they are compared to the last couple of years they are they're so vibrant and they go well with a bunch of our colors that we have now so that's the card. The other thing I want to do, I'll bring in the other one, but before we bring in that other card for comparison, I just use the, um, oh, what is this called? My goodness. Wink Estella on the balloons just to give them a little shimmer. I thought that just gave them a nice little touch. I like the Wink Estella because once it dries, it does not come off. On your fingers, all that sparkle stays where it's supposed to stay. You know how you get some cards in the mail um, by, you know, stores that sell them and the glitter comes right off? I hate that. This does not once it dries. So then what you can do, too, is you can kind of pop up these balloons a little bit and kind of give them a little bit of depth there. So that, isn't that cute? Now, where's my other card? So here's the other one. Definitely love that one much better. I think it's just the bright, fun. It just screams birthday. This one's cute, but I like this one better. And I like the happy birthday down here instead of on the balloon. What do you guys think? Yeah, the Wink of Stella, I think we, I think there would be like lots of people crying if Wink of Stella disappeared because everybody uses that Wink of Stella. It's awesome. And it lasts a long time too. So... I like this one better. I think that's so much cuter. I mean, they're both cute, but, but that's the cute little card. The, that chick set, like I said, it's the Hey Birthday Chick stamps and the Chick Dies, Birthday Chick Dies. They're 50% off right now. So, so you guys like the um, bright colored card. Yeah, it just screams birthday, doesn't it? So... So that's my little card for this week. Next week, I'm not sure. Maybe I'll do a new product because it's close to... Let me flip you guys up so I can talk to you guys. Um, it's close to the new catalog releasing. So maybe I'll do a new product instead of... Because we're get, having slim pickings right now in the catalog on different things. So... I think I will do that. I'll do a one of the new products. We were able to order not everything out of the new catalog, um, some stuff. So I will do a video next week of the new stuff because it'll be less than a week before you guys can order. So that would be fun. Um, so everybody liked the bright colored one, even though the chickens were not normal looking. But yeah, that's super cute. So I'm going to leave all the measurements in the link of the video if you guys want to recreate that um, <clears throat> card. And like I said, if you guys get your orders in, this set is more than 50% off. But um, it's getting to be slim pickings. What I just went on before I got on here. And there's not much left. There's a lot of um, French stuff. Um, but there's... A lot of the English stuff is going. So get on there, get your shopping in, and have fun doing it. 
and I will see you guys um, next week. Yes, next week. And don't forget, I'm going to try this again. Free shipping on the 21st on any orders of $75 or more pre-tax, and that would be this Thursday. All right, guys. Thank you guys so much for being here, and I'll see you guys next week. Have a great rest of your week.